In this episode, we venture down into a giant abandoned command center, the Yugoslavian version of NORAD. This is the war room. <laughs> See you, Bob. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. We're on a short road trip in Croatia, and in earlier episodes, we explored an amazing former military island. Now we arrive back on the mainland. But there's no time to rest. Another adventure is waiting. Hi guys, it's almost midnight and it's time for a new adventure. I'm still in Croatia, but Ilko is staying at the hotel. So we're gonna meet up with Devin, a local explorer. And we're gonna explore a really, really nice abandoned command center. Despite being tired, it's time to explore one of the coolest bunkers in Croatia. I drive to a meeting point, where I will meet Devon from the channel Tattoo Traveler. Hey man, nice to meet you. Nice hey, to meet you. Come on, I'm really looking forward to this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. should be cool. Yeah. This was the main command bunker for the entire coastal region. So. Yeah, I heard it's the Yugoslavian version of the NORAD, right? Yeah. Pretty yeah. much, pretty much. We find our way to the entrance. <laughs> and this is 60 meters, so 180 feet. Getting the tetanus shower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crazy how risky it is, man. My gosh. I think maybe. 10, 15 meters left. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty, man. Well done. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Look how far this goes up. Crazy. Oh well, we made it. We just have to get back out again. Eh? Yes. All right, let's explore, man. This place was built in two parts. One part was constructed in the 1950s and was rarely used. The other part was constructed in the 1970s and was completed in 1980. We just came from the uh, emergency exit. It's like uh -huh. 60 meter escape ladder. These doors and stuff in here still work as well. All right. Mostly they are totally rusted. Uh, we've yeah. just been to some other ones and they uh, were totally stuck. Yeah. Surprisingly in good shape. There's some bigger ones we'll come across oh, okay. We should come out right into the generator room. Oh, we're in the generator room already. Yeah. Wow. These, you know about these, right? These fire ah. extinguishers, yeah. they're super dangerous. Well, then that thing goes off, you got a few seconds to get out of the room because <laughs> you'll suffocate and die. And Great. Yeah, so. So yeah, this is one of the generators. There's even bigger generators in the other room. Oh, but really? While this place was running, this is where you could get electrocuted, obviously. <laughs> you can see oh, yeah. back in here, the transformers and really big circuit breakers. Okay. We'll go actually into the main general room. Just yeah, a smaller this one. Is secondary. Okay. Uh, still looks cool. Just too bad, like the copper thieves yeah, have. Uh, right. This is <laughs> obviously there. where yeah. copper used to be. Mm. It's just cooling like one there. Eh? Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same color. Yeah. Did you drink any Mountain Dew when you were in the States, bro? Yeah, but I, I know it. I miss Mountain Dew, yeah. man. <laughs> All right, so this room is pretty cool. Generator cooling fans. Oh, uh, yeah. Here, let me... Here, I'll climb up there again. Check this out. 
Yeah, it looks cool, man. <laughs> this, this go here. This one makes noise. <laughs> For a bunker, man, it's pretty hot in here, man. Normally, I'm used to 12 degrees on the ground. Dude, but I'm, here I'm it's like 20 or something. I'm surprised how hot it is, bro. So normally, it's colder. <sighs> Do you see these in the generator rooms or the... Uh... Uh -huh. Well, to be honest, outside of Croatia, I think I have never seen these holes. Really? Yeah. It also might have to do something with absorbing a shock. I'm sure you, somebody will let you know in the comments section. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the ones they used to have in the army. With, okay, maybe Old take glow up. sticks, same stuff we got in the army. So they also have one that's like purple, but it's not. Yeah. It's it's IR. You can only see ah, it on our, ah, You can yeah, only yeah, see yeah, it yeah. on night vision. And that's what you cool. do to like mark a spot uh -huh. is you you tie it to a piece of rope uh -huh. and you swing it around. It's called a buzz saw. All right. And you yeah, can yeah, see yeah. it like far away and through night vision. So this place was supposed to be nuclear proof, you know. Yeah, biochemical and nuclear. Eh? Yeah, and this should lead down to one of the other exits. Okay. Seems like the scrapper's place here, right? There you yeah, are. this is where <laughs> I think where they used to take stuff out yeah, and they ended up, yeah, yeah, yeah. They ended up sealing that, that completely. Air filters? Yeah, Something? all those are all old air filters. Yeah. That's what it looks like at least. Yeah. This place was originally for the whole coastal region command of Yugoslavia. So basically the whole coastline of present day Croatia. This was the main underground command center for all the other underground relay stations throughout the country. Um, there's hundreds of them of varying sizes. This is one of the biggest ones, one of like the, I want to say there's about five main centers. This is the one for the coast. This is where they would plant, uh, plot like naval ships uh -huh. and also it would be like a radar early warning system they could uh, relay stuff for, out to the rest for of the, the planes country. and also they collected all the information from radars planes and ships right right exactly yeah, and also made decisions here right and when we get to the command room you'll see the maps of where they used to do that it's a pretty That's impressive nice. place straight out of 80s bond yeah, I did a similar one in Italy, it also looked great with a really nice visual map. Yeah, I saw yeah. that, bro. If you'd like to see more command centers, check this one out in Italy. Perfect. Crazy. More assistance, yeah, yeah. Nice. This place was probably stationed anywhere from, I want to say 50 to 100 guys down here at any time. Oh, really? Oh, uh, here's, uh -huh. here's the weight from uh, oh, the yeah, homemade the weight. weight Let me <laughs> embarrass myself real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there are also big barracks here, I guess, then, huh? There's With a barracks. and stuff. Yeah, there's a barracks room we'll get to. It nice. still has the names of the soldiers on it. Oh, cool. Oh, this is a purple one? Hmm. These represent different color air, I mean, different temperature air. Um, ah, okay. This is just more of the air ventilation stuff. Yeah. We'll keep going that way. There's, all right. Here's where it gets impressive. All right. This is a... a really big room. It's moldy. We, we're going into the back way, but this is a... Probably the command center. This is the map of the former Yugoslavia up here. Okay. You can see what's left of the coastline. Oh, yeah. This is... 
La Stovo, this is Korsuva or something? Korsuva. Yeah, something like that. So, so that's actually where you were, bro, yeah. uh, in, in those other tunnels. That's, so it was a special uh, one too in La Stovo. Uh, you can see there was a special mark on it. In two previous episodes, you could see some cool bunkers on the island of La Stovo. There's another map. Oh. This is where basically the nerve center of the place. Oh, yeah, where the decisions were made. Yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah, look at all these maps. You can... This is the war room. Yeah. Crazy. So they threw these down or what? What happened here? <laughs> it's just wrecked, bro. Yeah. It's still really cool. I mean, you can imagine how this place was when yeah. the, they were working. I mean, this is where the maps would have been, but obviously somebody threw stuff through there. This is all, when we go up there, you can see they used to write stuff on these charts. Cool. Oh, the lights are still intact. Yeah. Surprises <laughs> me. So. 180 feet or 60 meters underground. I mean, the size of this room for an underground room, bro. Yeah, you, it's, it's pretty it's, big. It's yeah, pretty, it's pretty crazy. Luxurious too. Uh, normally, you have like really narrow corridors. Right. And you're this standing is, here in this giant room. You don't even feel like you're underground. Also, the walls and stuff like that. Huh? It looks even like right, uh, it looks you're like just in that building <laughs> like somewhere, like in a theater building. or something of an mm -hmm. office. Yeah. These are the names of cities, right? Oh, Villa Luca, yeah, that, that's uh, the island of, what is it called? Corsula? Corsula. Oh, Corsula, yeah. yeah. I don't know how to pronounce all no, these. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm learning the language and I still don't know how to pronounce okay. this. <laughs> but basically you read it as it is. All right. It's uh, Shibenik. This Shibenik. is a shi. Yeah, uh, shi. Shish kebab. Yeah. <laughs> of the coastline in here. And you're right about those symbols. That's actually something I didn't notice before that, but that probably represents a base, a base yeah. for the JNA or Yugoslav National Army. It's actually Yugoslav People's Army. Well, I noticed on the island, top ends of most islands have ex-GNA military yeah, bases. Yeah, they were, a lot of those islands were closed up until like the 80s. Yeah. To like tourists and stuff, so. I heard La Stova was La, closed for La, foreigners until it, it was, 89. Yeah, it Crazy. was a closed island. And then, uh, you know, in 90 and 91, that's when the shit show happened. Yeah. So there's stairs back here. All right. Get to inhale some nice fiberglass on the way up. <laughs> so here's the old chairs that they used to sit in. See, there was a large group of people working in here at one point. So you can see where they used to write stuff. I mean, this is like 70s, 80s stuff. They'd have to write, come in here and write backwards and stuff. Ah, yeah. So the guys down there could see it. <laughs> it's a special education, I had to write backwards. Right. <laughs> Pregled just means inspection, and then I, I won't pretend like I, I can read everything, but... This is also nice, all the lamp bulbs. In yeah. Here. yeah. So you know when this place got abandoned? Uh, was it? During the war in the 90s. Oh yeah. Uh, like this being one of the main headquarters was mainly staffed by Serbian and Montenegro. Well, the, the Yena, the JNA army, this was one of their headquarters. So during the war here in the 90s, they uh, abandoned this place and the story is they destroyed a lot of the place, but I, I mean, the destruction that we see now is obviously 
I owe my buddy even for this one, so even thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The if you're watching, the there's a picture of a, there. I believe a MiG 20, 20 something or other. Uh, these used to light up with pictures of the aircraft and statistics of the aircraft. Uh huh. Yeah, like yeah. What yeah. It's so pictures of it. Like what its capabilities were. Yeah. There's a little bit on the floor. There's a little bit of pieces on the floor. Yeah. Where we can check if there's something. 500 kilogram bomb, what it could yeah. carry. Yeah, I would have loved to see that intact. Oh, you also were too late? It's in the same state as. It got destroyed last year, man. The, last. It's crazy. Oh, you, you can, can see, see part of the back. Yeah. yeah. So, I'd like to come back here one day and <laughs> repair puzzle. this stuff, you know? Yeah. I would, let's see if we can find some pieces. This is the front of one of the... Let's see if we can put something okay. together here. <laughs> puzzle. <can> collect. <laughs> Urbex puzzle. <laughs> this is, uh, this is uh, one of the there wings. You can see the back. Yeah, this is... There you go. Oh, who knows? <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't uh, <laughs> <laughs> So here we can see the most intact map that's left. All these wood, all these desks. <laughs> see, you can see the coastline here. Yeah. So here's your... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. La Stovo is there. And you all can see all up. the way up to the creation of Istria and yeah, Istria Pula, Peninsula. There. Yeah, and this is Italy, oh, obviously. Yeah. So this was one of the main maps. Yeah, here you can see December there. I don't know if they replaced the stickers. Yeah, these look like just stickers. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Also some maps, totally scratched off. Did you see this? It's also a cool map. Oh, you're right. Like whole Southern Europe. Uh, you know what? I never noticed this one before. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 or you can... Yeah, 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 yeah. it's all borders, mm -hmm. uh, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Yugoslavia, yep, nice. this is it's a cool old map. You got Cyprus on here. Oh, yeah, yeah I think it was after 74, yeah. Yeah, 74, line, right, right, yeah. right, right, yeah, so it did have some yeah. kind of separation. <laughs> Somebody made it uh, manually. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the map, uh, yeah for Magusa. <laughs> Yeah, it's not recognized by anyone except Turkey, I believe. Right. Back here, you can see where they were keeping all the paper maps. Hola. Old moldy maps. Here's a map of the west coast of Italy. So you got Corsica yeah, yeah. and Sardinia. Sardinia. This but, uh, is Alba, I guess. There. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess I would think the reason they had like these maps is because that's where all the NATO stuff was in was in Italy. Uh, 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 the places uh. you've been to. But this should lead us down to the, the housing. There's more offices back there, but let's go this way. So here's your kitchen. <laughs> well, but this is kind of cool. Somebody was doing a crossword here like 30 years ago. So. <laughs> Did he finish it? <laughs> no. no. Is there a date on it? I was curious to see dates. 1994, so during the war here, It's nice to get a tour. <laughs> Normally I have to find out everything myself. But, Welcome uh, to Balkan time. Tours. Check, check out my stuff, guys. Oh my god. Tattooed cool. Traveler on. Wow. My little channel. Yeah. So see these guys' names? These bunks are still named with the guys that were used to be back here. It's a nice place to camp, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you like a best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to have a uh, yeah, bacterial right. infection, uh, you have to be here. <laughs> right. It's really cool that it's still in here. But it's nicer than some of the stuff I used to have in the, in the U.S. Army. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> this guy just put his first name, Dule. So where were you stationed at? Was it like I was at Bragg. I was a paratrooper. Back in the day, I did a year over in Afghanistan. It was okay. you know, oh, a, really? a nice, a nice little vacation. I mean, camel meat. <laughs> <laughs> Three by three. Zero privacy, man. If somebody farted, then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gas alarm goes off. You think they had curtains or nothing? Just zero privacy? I mean, or? they might have... They might have... Like, what we did is we used to just make our own, like, little blockers out uh -huh. of, like... Call them movies. Okay. Anybody in Nari will know what I'm talking about. It's like a poncho uh -huh. kind of thing. And you would just tie up some cord and paracord and you would have your... Wax shack, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Soldiers will figure it out. The silent game. sniper, huh? Yeah. <laughs> An electrician's office, probably. Uh, the boots kind of give it away. Uh -huh. All his off duty slippers back there. <laughs> Schematics. The electrician stuff, definitely. And these are just schemes or something I mean, that broke down, I guess. This place was used, but not to the extent that it would have ever would have been worth the money that they spent on this place, probably billions of dollars. So you can see this whole part is not connected. Where the atomic bomb it would be absorbed. Yeah. Stripped copper stuff. Yeah. There's multiple levels to this one. Oh. Well, you can see like old, obviously, it's not made out of copper. Going down one level. This is where the air got filtered. Eh? Right. Yeah. Diesel tanks. Oh, also with the that fire, fire extinguishers. I think it's called Halon or Halon or <laughs> Talon or something like that. Nice. That's a really cool part. Yeah, this looks amazing, man. This part. I think this is the one that works better. Bye bye. <laughs> See you, Bob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, yeah. Still works perfectly, man. Yeah. Epic. Thank you. 
there's another one that actually still functions. Yeah. I believe this is an older section. Probably one of the, they probably started construction from this side. We're underneath like a small hill. Okay. So this looks much older. Yeah, yeah. Looks even unfinished, eh? Yeah. You can tell even the wiring design is different. It's a funny story that my buddy told me about this hill that we're under. Uh -huh. It used to be covered in landmines. Landmines, okay. Yeah, and then one day there was like a landslide, like after a bunch of rain, and all these landmines like went down into this kindergarten like playground. Oh, really? <laughs> they oh. were like blowing up in the kindergarten. <laughs> Croatian kindergarten class, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, so probably a little bit more than 60 meters, but this place is massive. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, for you, it's in your backyard, and that's a nice uh, local hangout for you. Right, bro. Things burn down here. Yeah, there was Looks a fire like, down It's uh, like the copper thieves use this as a place to burn yeah, their stuff. This was a fire down here at one point. So the other exit is down this hallway. And how long is this corridor? Uh, yeah, at least two or three, two hundred meters probably. Right. Been there or not? Yeah, I believe that leads up to the office area. Oh, you could check. Might as well go. Yeah, well, since we're here. It's only uh, 2 30, I think, in the morning, or yeah. something like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. good urbex time. Yeah. yeah, for these kind of places, it's perfect. Eh? Everyone is sleeping. Oh, our filters again. Something. Oh, look at this door. It turns out we arrive at the spot where we entered. So we decide to go out again. Oh, tattoo traveler and Bob, I think we make a pretty decent team, bro. Now, yeah. <laughs> hopefully we don't die on this. On the way out. Yeah, damn, all the way up again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please leave us a comment and thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. In the next episode, we explore a place which is highly demanded in the comments. See you next week.